All right, um, let's capture right clicks. The normal click is a left click. And the normal situation is if I click this button, the start button, we pick it up through the signal on start one clicked. We've already done it. Um, the start starts the progress uh, bar, which was in the last video. Um, progress bar has to have a number in the spinner, and it will then start it if it's zero and start at all. However, what if it's running and I want to call it quits? Well, one way is I could put another button in. Another way would be to right-click the start button. If I right-click the start button, that should be picked up, go to a handler, which zeroes out the uh, the count numbers um, So the uh, and zeroes out the progress bar. So it's kind of contrived, but if I want to capture the right-click is the point. And capturing the right click is the same for all buttons. Uh, it's the same idea anyway. So where on the start button, we do have the clicked, which we've already done before. But under GTK widget, which was normally hidden over here, under GTK widget, I have inst I'm grabbing the signal on button press event. So on start, and start one button press event is a signal. So it doesn't matter which button. Either button will do it. Uh, so it's a so either button pressed is a press event, and that takes precedence over clicked. Uh, it's done first. All right. What's the code look like? I'm glad you asked. Um, well, I didn't change the start button or anything. I just added an extra function down the bottom, and the function is here: gboolean. First of all, because it's an event, it um, it returns a true false. If it returns true, it means no further processing for this event. We're done. Go away. Don't do anything else. If it returns false, it means this event will continue processing if there are other handlers that handle this type of event. Uh, so what we come down here is we get we get a couple of parameters. We, of course, get the button that was clicked um, by left or right. And we get an event. We get a pointer to an event. Now it's a structure. Event is a structure. You can get into it and look at the details, but all we need to know is this. Event is a pointer, and the, um, and the element of the structure that we want to point at is called button. It's not the same button as, uh, well, actually it is, I suppose, but um, it's part of the structure. It's an entity in the structure. If the value of the in, in the structure is 1, it was a left click, and I return false. By returning false, it will then go on to say, all right, does anybody else want to handle this? And as it turns out, clicked on start one clicked would be activated because that has yet to process. So if I return a false, it means we're not done with processing this event. Continue processing, and it will go to on start one clicked. Um, and that's if it comes back one. If it comes back zero, the alternative, the only two, uh, it would come down here, and uh, it it would what I would do is I'm zeroing out countdown max, uh, and count current to zero, and I go into the progress bar and I set it to zero, which you know blanks the progress bar, and I return true, indicating we're done processing. Okay, so a right click uh, is detected as a button press event. And I zero out the information encoder for the processing or for the progress bar, and uh, I don't process it any further. If it's a left click, the normal type of click, I guess, uh, we go and uh, we continue processing, and we will go to start one uh, click, which is the next button. There is, um, there's also some. It may not just be zero and one as the value of the button. I think the uh, the. No, the scroll bar uh, has a button also. It may have an additional number. I've not played with it. But um, so zero is um, is is the uh, right button and one is the uh, left button. That much I can tell you. Okay, so compile it and run it. All right, everything looks pretty much the same as before. And we go down here and um, put something in here, maybe 10. And I hit a left click on start, which will start the, when I do it, it will start the progress bar. And then when it gets down after a couple of ticks, I'll right click it, and that'll kill it. So I'm starting the progress bar, and you see it's counting down. Now I'm going to right click it, and you see it zeroes out. So it detected the difference between a left and a right click.